Turn loss is about reflected energy. So um, if I was talking into a, to you through a wall, the amount of sound that I hear of my own voice compared to the amount that's coming out of my mouth would be return loss. It's the amount of reflected energy back at the source. All the, I'm trying to send you as much information as possible to you, okay? Some of the, some of the information that I'm gonna be sending to you is gonna be dissipated in heat or crosstalk or something, it's gonna go away. But some information is gonna be reflected to me, okay? At the end of the day, the information that is reflected to me is not being received by you, which is my intention, right? When I'm talking to you, my intention is for you to receive it. So return loss is all the information that is reflected back to me. The, the reason it's called loss is because you're losing it, you're not receiving it, right? I want you to receive it, but then it's coming back to me. Return loss is an analysis signal getting bounced back to the receiver. And the goal is to have it more, as much as you can, so higher in dB. And usually what it does is measure the mismatch in the system, impedance mismatch. So a perfect system has a return loss of minus infinity. All the energy gets uh, passed forward to somewhere. Um, a uh, typical system requirements are return loss is better than say 10 or 20 dB. We can determine uh, normal standard solutions target a 10 dB of isolation for return loss and uh, higher systems are doing 20, 40, even up to 80 dB of isolation and return loss. How much energy is being reflected back at your terminal based on your observation is relevant for us. It tells us discontinuities, uh, bad return loss can translate to poor impedance control, and it tells you like, you know, something's going on in your system.